Welcome back to our workshop where we make tools and cool projects on the CNC router. Today we are building a material storage stand to organize our leftover plywood pieces. You know the ones that are too good to throw away but also too small for any bigger projects. This build is easy, fun and super useful. And wait till you see the final result. It's going to make you want to build one for yourself. So let's get started. To design the material storage stand I had to consider the sizes and shapes of the material. I wanted to have a place for everything, from small scraps to larger sheets. I also wanted to be able to move the material stand around the workshop easily. I used Fusion 360 to create three different models of the stand based on the dimensions of my workshop and the materials I had available. The first model had vertical dividers in the middle, creating three sections. The section on the left had compartments for storing shorter and narrower strips. The middle section had shelves for longer and wider wood pieces, and the section on the right had a rack for storing small sheets. The second model had two racks on both sides of the stand for storing large sheets of plywood. In between the racks there were shelves for smaller pieces. The third model had a rack on one side of the stand for storing lumber. On the other side there were a rack for smaller sheet materials. In the middle there were shelves for miscellaneous pieces. After comparing the three models I chose the second one, because it suited my needs the best. It had enough space for all of my plywood offcuts and it was easy to access and organize them. Now comes the fun part, cutting the stand components on the CNC router. I had a big sheet of plywood that was too large for the router bed, so I had to chop it up into smaller pieces. I used a 3mm straight flute bit to cut the parts. This bit is awesome because it leaves enough wood chips in the curve to keep the parts from moving around. So I don't have to bother with the tabs. The tabs are annoying because they make it harder to remove the parts from the router and you have to cut them off later. With this bit I just pop the parts out of the material like a puzzle. Then I use a router table to clean up the edges and get them ready for assembly. Next I assemble the stand. I started with the shelves and the A-frame components. I joined them with some finger joints. Then I added some small panels to the sides of the shelves. These panels keep the material from falling off and make the frame stronger. Then I worked on the base. I added a frame to the bottom of it to make it more rigid and durable. Next I added some borders to the sides of the base. These borders will stop the sheets from sliding off when I move the stand. They also make the base look nicer. To reinforce the bottom border joint, I added a screw in every finger of the joint. This will ensure the corner joint doesn't come apart. Then I had to attach the casters. To install the casters, I did some pre-drilling. This prevents the plywood from splitting when I screw in the casters. Finally, I attached the shelving element to the base with four wedges. And that's it, the material storage stand was done. I gave it a couple of spins and rolled it around the workshop. Then I used it to clean up the pile of plywood offcuts that were taking up space in the side of the workshop. I sorted them by size and shape, put them on the shelves and racks. The stand had enough room for all of them.
I also tried to put a full size sheet on the stand just to see if it could handle it. It was a bit too big for the stand but it still stayed on without falling off. The stand was strong and sturdy. If you want to make your own plywood storage stand or other storage solutions for your workshop or home, you should check out arivabox.com. We have tons of awesome designs for boxes, shelves and stands that you can make with your CNC router. And right now we have a special offer. You can save 50% on all the storage designs until the end of April. That's a huge deal. So don't miss this chance to get some amazing storage designs for half the price. Anyway, I hope you liked this video and learned something new. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe for more CNC projects. And I'll see you next time.